What is up, beautiful people? No, we are not filming a podcast. Actually, something kind of funny but kind of sad, but I refuse to see it sad happen to us. Uh, we filmed a bunch of vlogs. So I think we have like a good nine days worth of vlogs. We'd like to stockpile because we usually get pretty busy. Um, and once we started editing said vlogs, we noticed that our microphone was fucked up. And it caught zero audio on all of those nine vlogs. And some of those vlogs were really cool, <sighs> too. If you guys have been following us on Instagram, you see us like in Utah, hiking, climbing, doing a lot of fun, cool memories. And we look at it and we're like, no, there's no Yeah, because it's this. Yeah, and you know, you <sighs> can't watch a movie in silence. At least there's subtitles, right? But we don't even have that that we can give you guys. So instead of throwing the footage away, because we ultimately love vlogging because it stores all these moving freaking images for us, right? Like we can go back and I can look at my old pup pups that have passed. Like I can look at old memories. So we refuse to throw them away. So what we're going to do is we're going to look back at our vlogs and we're going to walk you through what happened, all right? As much as we can remember. So this first vlog that we're doing... Um, actually means a lot to me because when we first moved to Vegas, my dad was obviously one of the first people I asked, hey, would you be down to move? And yeah, I, would, I don't know. People would be like your mom, maybe. No, well, my mom's in Taiwan, <laughs> you know. So my dad was like, you're like, fuck no. He's like, yeah, you're my son. If you move, I move. I'm like, what? What is that? That's so freaking cool. So in our first vlog here, um, we set up like a bunch of uh, open houses and appointments so that we can help my dad find his house as uh, he becomes a Nevada resident as well. All right, let's rock and roll, press play. So this is one of the first properties that we saw and it was super fucking funny because um, Bart's dad is deaf, doesn't understand the language. And uh, the realtor was like, hey, um, so the tenants still live here and the dad is already walking. That's him trying to open up this fence and walking into someone's property, not even knowing if that was a house. Yeah. He just assumed that <laughs> my dad just does the Asian dad thing where it doesn't really matter what the rules are. You know, the agents like, let's stay in the front. Another agent's going to come and meet us. Yeah. And you just see my dad just wandering off, going into the backyard and then just looking at things, you know, like the good old like knock, knock. Is this made out of good material? Like just touching all kinds of random things when the original tenant still live there. Oh, look at the duty is still sleeping. This guy is on high energy most of the day that literally when he sits in the car, within five minutes, he's knocked out. So it's always a process waking him up because he's just so soft and so sensitive. And, <laughs> and he wants you to be really, really slow with him when he wakes up. That's why we're, we're hugging here. Like if you go too fast, he'll start crying and you start throwing him off. So you really want to take it super slow with the duty. What's crazy is that this is only like a week ago, but I can see the growth in the baby. I know. I can see it from day to day. That's so crazy. All right. So now that's our realtor, Christina. We're inside the house. This property is actually really, really cool because um, it was small. I think it was like, what, 1,500 square feet? Maybe even less than that. Um, two bedroom. Again, it's just going to be for his pop pop. And uh, I mean, you know, when you're when you're alone, you don't really want a big ass house because it's like a waste of space. It's a lot to clean to. My dad was like specifically telling me I only want a two bedroom. Um, we saw a couple of three bedrooms that day just to like keep the options open. But yeah. when you really saw it, I was like, no, no, no. I just want a two bedroom. Because there's just too many things for one person to clean and maintain. Yeah, and you said that your dad just couldn't picture himself living on this property, right? It was like too complex or something. Yeah, for him? this specific one, um, we actually liked it. Like me and the agent, because they modernized a lot of things. They put wood floor, like countertops, new cabinets, and all that. And then it looked pretty, uh, like digestible, like the layout was. It's straightforward. Yeah, straightforward. But my dad was just walking around. And he goes, oh, I don't know. And I think it's because when you live somewhere for like 20, 30 years. That if it fe like if you can't imagine your furniture immediately in there, it's just weird for him. So for him, he was like the first house that we saw. He goes, nah, I don't really like it. But I, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I liked it. I saw that the washer and dryer was inside. Well, I mean, I get it. Like when we were first house shopping, I couldn't picture any of my things in any of these homes. Mm, I see. Um, and it wasn't until people started staging it with better furniture than I had oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I get it. But it, when it was like the furniture was like our level or like. Like, not as cute. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah. I liked uh, checking out the outside because I pictured Taika going to my dad's house wherever Aww. he goes and playing all the time. And then also, uh, my dad loves planting trees and roses. So, like, the backyard was a huge deal for me. So, I always wanted to check it out. I'm looking at Taika walk around right now, and I feel like I totally messed up. 
putting what? uh dressing him in sweats in this Vegas fucking heat. I'm getting used to it, all right? Yeah, because it just comes. Like, this Vegas heat, it's literally like L.A. weather, right? Like, I don't you think know, it goes away. Like, it's like 80s, you know, 70s. Yeah. And then when summer hits, like right now, it's pretty much 110 plus during the day and then 90 something at night. It just yeah. hits out of nowhere. Yeah. All right, so here we are looking at property two. Um, this one was also kind of odd. There was a step at the entrance, and that's already a big no-no for anyone that's considered Older. a senior citizen. Yeah. Yeah, because like your vision's bad and it's blended with the floor. So that was already pretty sketch. What's crazy about this house is the minute we walked there, my agent already told me that there's already like three or four offers. Yeah. And I think one of them was like a cash offer or something like that. Yeah. So we're houses like, uh, we're good. Houses in the in these hot spots go really, really fast. There's a couple of other properties that we looked at where the men it's listed that day and I go to see it that day and it already has three offers. So you kind of have to move fast. Good thing um, this one felt kind of old, and my dad's like, oh, I don't really like Just it. Just the vibes in this house was weird, and like the layout felt very mazy. Yeah. Like when I look for homes, at least, I want the layout to make sense in my head, like thoughtless. Yeah. You know, and this one was like, wait, do I go this way, this way, this way? Like, I just, it was just too much to have to take in. And it's always so weird when the stranger's still in the house. Yeah. So the person was still there and we got to see them. So you kind of like start making your own backstory. Yeah. But you could tell that the owners did a really good job, though, because everything was like original, original shower, toilets, or whatever. And they did a really good job of maintaining it. Yeah. The community here is what you're showing uh, is really, really nice. It was very peaceful, super clean. Bart's dad clearly didn't give a fuck. He's just trying to see where Taika is. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I guess we passed on that. This house. is when Taika broke his arm, right? Oh, yeah. What <laughs> happened here? I think he was playing on like a neighbor's front yard and he slipped and right. fell. And it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. It was just slight scratches. Yeah, he broke a little skin. Yeah, but Taika's in this phase where like if, if he hurts his arm, then he it's needs a, a sling deal. and he needs to go to the hospital. He can't even walk. So he wasn't willing to check out any houses until we tie <laughs> right. his little arm up in a sling. And we put a bandaid on him. You see the bandaid? Yeah. But okay. now, now that is taken care of, you can go and check out the rest of the houses. No, yeah, that was so. This is we're entering, about to enter house number three, and this is the one that your dad ultimately really liked. Yeah, he fell in love with this one, and as soon as you see, you'll you'll see why. Like the minute you walk inside, the living room's to the left, then it's the dining room, then it's the kitchen. Very, Super very digestible. Very straightforward. Very similar to what my dad has right now, and it just looks so easy to clean because you just got to clean one big rectangle because yeah. it's all open concept like that. Here we go. There's Christina. See there. Living room. That's the kitchen. whole house. <laughs> From the door, you see the whole house, yep, and my dad's it. like, this one's it. Yep. And then you have, what is that? Room number one. So bathroom. one thing I was really happy about house shopping is we've been trying to convince grandma to come yeah so it's cool that grandma was down to come and like hang out and check out kind of the housing scene it's too. never easy but yeah. we got her out we yeah. got her out fam. In, in la like if you're talking houses you're starting 600 700 you know and all these houses we're looking at at that day were in the 300 range yeah so it's a range that doesn't even really exist in la which no, is cool not at all not at all and i liked it because it had a cute little skylight in the bathroom. Yes. And I think that was my any natural light. I'm a sucker for it. Yeah. So look at how lit that bathroom looks. Yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, you see that bright spot on the ground. So you really don't have the lights on. No, I love it. It's just nice and bright. And then the ceilings are nice and tall. So it feels big and open. It always throws me off how much smaller, I guess, people used to be back in like the 60s, 70s, because everything is like the countertops are shorter. Like the sinks are narrower, the hallways are narrower. I'm like, what the hell? What is he saying right there? So my dad, I think he was confirming how many bedrooms it is. And he comes up to me and goes, that's it. We don't got to see any other house. And that's how I like about my dad. He's a shopper like me where he doesn't really go around. Like if he sees something, it's it. And then it's it. But in the Vegas market, though, or any of those hot spot markets, I'm letting my dad know, no, no, no. Just because we put an offer in, we might not get this house. Yeah. So we can't just go, this one's it, let's leave. Yeah. We need to. You need options. Yeah, we need to look at a few more, put in options for all of them. Yeah. Or offers for all of them. Yeah. Yeah, he's so funny. Um. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. I just feel like, I don't know, did we just get bigger as people? Like, every time I walked in all of these houses, I'm like, the that, that countertop was literally by my crotch. We did, though. Have you seen, like, a 1980s Camry? which is a full-sized sedan. Yeah. It's smaller than a modern-day Corolla. Well, I hope we're getting taller and not fatter. No, it's just the old, even the old cars, like they're the biggest size of old cars are smaller than our small cars today. 
Yeah, here I was talking about how, you know, we can easily just modernize everything. You knock out this thing, you move out that pillar. Like, there's like random pillar right above my head. <laughs> Look at that. Like, it just doesn't on. make any sense. At least now it doesn't, I'm sure. At the time, it was like the shit. This clearly is like a 80s home um because that's what my house looked like the one i grew up in with the random pillars? just random beams like random like like Isn't geometric shapes it just yeah. had like a very 80s vibe in here yeah i think this one we ultimately got it uh inspected right and it just had too many issues yeah so that happened almost like a week right after we put in the offer and then we thought it was going to go through and there was like 20 something issues with the house oh his so arm's better Oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> so we we're like, oh, man, I yeah, don't know if we want to spend like an extra 30, 40 grand on the house. Yeah. So we just kept looking. It's always a gamble with the house. So here we are on property number four. OK, so we were waiting to go next because of COVID reg regulations. Uh, only one family at a time could go in. Yeah. So grandpa and Taika are playing outside. Grandpa lets Taika do anything to him. Taika was literally throwing rocks. I don't know if you guys caught that, but throwing rocks. At, Ty at grandpa and grandpa thinks it's the funniest shit and we're going we're gonna kick your ass i'll get up here i mean we're not really talking to him like that but the feeling is there so this house is the one that i personally like me too it's a three-car garage i think three bedrooms and it just it feels more modern look how high Look the ceilings yeah. are um but my dad came in here and he was like i admit this house is very very nice but it's just too much house to clean because it has a living room and a family room and a dining room. And then the guest bathroom is double sinks. It's a big house for one person. For it's one too person. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if my dad had a girlfriend or if like another family member stayed here, maybe even two big dogs or something, I think it would fill up the space more. But it was definitely a lot of house for someone to clean. Yeah, the people that lived here was really uh, like my mind was like can't, couldn't understand it because it's an older home. Uh, and you know people have lived here for a few years because it just looks like people have lived here for a few years. But everything was pristine. There wasn't a speck of dust. You did a good job. Like, literally, like, I was looking at the AC vents, and those were complete, like, I'm like, do people even live here, really? Like, I know there's, like, a bunch of shit to prove that they did. But, like, the floors were super polished. Like, the bedrooms are so clean. I couldn't understand it. It felt like a family home, though. It definitely has the feeling of a family, like a f like a bunch of family lives Maybe there. Maybe someone you, had OCD. You could f yeah, and you could feel like the energy of kids yeah. running around inside the house. So Grandkids. It felt, so it felt nice. It yeah, actually it felt really nice. Like, oh, this is homey. I liked it. The homey likes homey. Yep. Yeah, no, it was. It, I, it blew my mind for sure because I'm like, what in the what? Like, how do you keep this house so damn clean? And maybe that's why they left. Maybe it was just them two, or maybe one of them left and. Like, Kids look at that. No hard water spots. Yeah, and they were probably also saying, like, oh, three bedrooms, a family room, and a living room might be too much house. But look, there's no hard water stains. I don't understand. I need the car to the cleaners. Yeah, their cleaners did a really good job. We just look at Tyke. I love seeing Tyke <laughs> just randomly pop out of nowhere because he's just doing his own exploration at yeah. his own three feet level. And it's so cute. So this backyard, I thought it was so cool, too, because it just looked already like the rest of the house right well put together easy to maintain super clean looking it looked like it was uh also created for family out there as well yeah it has these awesome shades that can come down and block the vegas heat um and just for reference i think the first house that we looked at uh, the third house that we looked at that my dad really liked that was like low 300s that one was high 300s like about four so this one is the sienna yes um uh what is it like a senior, senior community. Yeah, senior community. So you got to be 55 and over to live here. And um, in terms of like the most quietest and chillest environment and community, this one is it. Like just because everyone's 55 and older, like what, the minute we walked in there, it just like it just felt slower. huh? We saw people walking. I think it was just being a jerk. What? Just because you assume old people just there was like this old lady. Um, she was like in her sports bra she was jogging and her leggings. Slower, oh, there she is. Yeah, she was just jogging. Yeah. Slow. Look at her. She was just kicking butt. She started like running at some point. But there's no one busting donuts or like just going crazy like normal young neighbors do. Yeah, that's true. So okay. So yeah, this one, if you're not 55 and over, you can't even live in here. And I thought it was cool because it had all kinds of other senior amenities. Yes, but, but we'll get to those. But this one's like, look at all this. Look at this window. This okay, one's so that's well the living together room. together too. Yeah, and like natural light. I love my dad loves and just light everywhere. I look at that. It. The counter is like facing. Like the living room, so you can socialize. Oh, this kid's so fucking funny. So this is a house where um, 
later on we go outside and this little monkey dude me and our agent was talking and i look over and i just see two butt cheeks and i see him peeing on the ground I'm like taiko what are you doing yeah we fucked up and then he was like i'm watering the grass and i i started laughing i know i was supposed to like you know talk to him but it was just so freaking funny yeah we just fucked up at our house we were like because we're right by the pool we're like yeah just go pee i mean whatever you know like little kid pee how much is a kid pee but yeah we didn't really realize that um it's gonna translate to other places yeah he didn't know that you're not supposed to do that all the time so yeah this house was really well kept and like i think whoever built this community you can just tell they're very quality builder from the materials to the finishes like it just it felt like a like a reputable builder built this you can tell you looked at a lot of houses but i because for me once it looks old i'm like this is shit like i can't imagine anything more than what i'm looking at oh no for me i can look at construction i can look at like you know like a car right like you look at a 1970s mercedes and there's still something very mercedes about it you know still very like strong sturdy the materials chosen yeah, so I think that was the last property that we looked at. Um, like Bart was saying, there was so many new amenities. This is one of the catalogs. Like that senior community comes with the catalog, and they offer a ton their own of monthly, classes. Their own monthly magazine, actually. Yeah, yeah, but they offer a ton of classes. Um, they have like a rec center. They have a gym, a pool, tennis courts, a restaurant, golf court. Um, so now at this point, uh, Bart's dad, I think, did you guys leave that night? Um, that night, yes. Yeah, so I think we're having dinner here. Yeah, so I think at, at this point, this is when me and my dad, I took him on the plane, flew back to L.A., got in a taxi, went with my dad um, in a taxi, dropped him off at my house, got in the exact same taxi, and then flew back uh, back to Vegas all in the same day. So I think I, we cut off the, um, the, fog. the house. Or like the house shopping at around like three or four so that from like four to eight, I can do all of that. And it's just because right now, you know, there's a lot of uh, what is it Asian called? hate, Asian hate, a lot of violence towards Asians. So I was just scared. And for those of you guys who are also Asian out there, if you can try not to let the elders go out by themselves. I mean, preventative measure is always better than afterwards. So right. that was me trying to like make sure that my dad stays safe. And after a long travel, Bart always has to have something soupy. That's why he's munching on some pho. Um, that's but delicious. Yeah, that's kind of the vlog and uh, the style that we're going to be doing. So thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for working uh, with us through this. We are going to be releasing all of the ones that, you know, that have no audio. We don't want to lose the footage, so bear with us. It is going to be a handful of them. But we are splicing in, you know, the podcast in it, and then we do have – some like Vegas adventures out here that we're going to be posting in between all of this stuff. So stay tuned. It's going to be a bunch of cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching our, our silent vlog. And thank you for reliving our memories with us. Yeah. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.